Welcome everyone to a new video! What I've got for you today is my own tutorial on how you can spawn your own custom mobs. Most of you have probably seen Dragon's tutorial on how to spawn custom mobs and for all the others I'll link his video on screen and in the video description. He managed to spawn custom mobs using only 3 command blocks per mob and one scoreboard and he was also able to customize the probability of a mob spawning. Well, that's quite good, but I found a way to randomly summon in your custom mobs without the use of scoreboards using only one single command per mob and one additional command block for all the mobs. So if you wanted to let 10 different custom mobs spawn, I only needed 11 command blocks. So now you're probably asking, how can you fit a randomizer and the ability to set the probability in one command? Well, that's a lot easier than you might think. Every mob spawns with a random yaw rotation. This rotation can be detected with the rotation selectors RYM, the minimal rotation in Y axis, and RY, the maximal rotation in Y axis. So now let me show you the actual command. It's an entity data command that changes the data of every zombie without the found tag and with the correct rotation to whatever you like your custom mob to be. In this case I simply named it custom mob. The second command, which you only need once, gives every entity the found tag, so that the first command can't activate again. So now let me quickly show you how you can adjust the probability of your mob spawning. Obviously, the larger the angle in which the mob will be a custom mob, the more likely it is to spawn. In my example, the rotation of the zombie could reach from 1 to 120, which is exactly one third of the total 360 degrees. Therefore, on average, every third mob will be renamed. If you wanted your mob to spawn with, let's say, a 5% chance, the angle you would need to take is 360 times 0 0.05 equals 18 degrees. The only flaw of this method is that you can't adjust the spawning chances more accurately than one degree, or 0.28%. However, I don't think this should cause any problems. If you really wanted, you could also check only for zombie villagers or baby zombies with a specific rotation, which would allow you to get down to a probability of 0.00013% or 1 in 720,000, what, at least for me, should be sufficient. Also, you could use execute detect to let mobs only spawn in specific locations, like on sand if you want your mob to spawn in deserts, or on ore if you want it to only spawn in caves. So now I'll give you a little sneak peek on my own custom mob project I've been working on, where you can let me know what you think about it in the info card poll in the top right corner. Also I'd love if you could give me more ideas for custom mobs, their drops, what they could be used for and so on. Be creative! So that's about it. As always, feel free to leave your questions and suggestions for custom creatures in the comments or follow me on Twitter at TheBullyBoy. And if you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like or subscribing to my channel. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye bye.